Hello everyone, it is Friday and you know what that means. This is where we talk about new products. So welcome to, yet again, another Friday new product post. So the first thing you're probably noticing is my flare right here. We've got these handy, nifty, and very neat spark fun buttons. We've got them in six different flavors and they come all packaged together. We've got the classic RTFM, read the full manual. And then we've got the Spark Fun Flame, of course. Got the Let Your Geek Shine. Yeah, five in homage to Free Day, of course. And then the classic white Spark Fun Electronics logo. And in addition to these five, we've also got this guy, which is the According to Pete logo, which you gotta support that one. So, as I said, we sell these in a six pack. Um, so you get all six buttons together and there that big, if that gives you a little bit better of an idea, um, yeah, about the size of a quarter. Um, so if you want to let your geek shine, check out the spark phone buttons. So next up we've got this 9 volt panel mount battery holder. So it looks like that. You've got some contacts in the back that you can solder to, and then you have this little drawer in the front. So we just lift that little tab, open it up, and have a little tray which holds a 9 volt battery. So all we have to do is just put it inside like that and then slide it inside, snaps in, and now we have a nice panel mount 9 volt battery holder. It's got these two little um, flanges on the side so you would just do a cutout for this size, slide it in, use a couple screws and it's even um, countersunk in there to give you a nice you know, flush appearance. So, you know, 9 volt batteries are really cool because you can regulate them down to 5 volts. Um, so they're very useful like that. And this will really clean up your project and give you a nice, easy way to mount a 9 volt battery in it. And lastly, we've got two new products from Arduino. These are the Arduino Ethernet boards. Now, the Arduino Ethernet boards combine an Arduino with the Arduino Ethernet Shield. So you get the benefits of the Ethernet Shield with the benefits of the Arduino all in one handy little package. Um, this is the Arduino Ethernet without the Power Over Ethernet module. And then this guy is the one with the Power Over Ethernet module. We sell both varieties and the only difference between the two is one of them has the module installed. As you can see from this one, there are holes here so that if you do want to add the module in the future, you can. Um, we've talked about PoE, Power Over Ethernet, um, a lot on the Friday New Product posts. And quite simply, it allows you to use a couple of the unused pins on your wired network to power your device. So in this case, you would have power that you would be injecting somewhere you know, over here on your network, and then it would come through the cable, come into this, go into this module, be regulated down into a usable voltage for the Arduino, and then that could power your board. So you wouldn't need to separately plug it into power, you could just draw power from your Ethernet connection. Um, the Arduino does use the official power over Ethernet, which, um, don't quote me on this, but I think it's like 70 or 90 volts or something like that. We do have a version of this, but it's kind of like, um, I think it's like 12 volts, it's not exactly the full spec PoE. Um, so it is nice that the Arduino boards do give you the full PoE specs, and it's just this little module. The thing to note about these boards is, it's tough to tell in the video, maybe I'll look over here. This little module does stick up pretty high, so if you have a shield that wants to fit really snugly, keep in mind that this module sticks up a little bit higher than even the Ethernet jack. So you might have to use a double stack header or something else like that just because of this module, you know, it might get in the way. So keep that in mind when ordering, um, but definitely check out either one of these boards. If you're looking to buy an Arduino and an Ethernet shield, you can just buy one of these and have the two products combined. So there you have it. This ends yet another Friday new product post. Go ahead and check out the rest of the post. We have a couple more products on the website. Uh, check out the nine volt battery holder, the two Arduino Ethernets, and definitely sports some buttons. We'll see you again next week with even more new products.